What's up everybody? Hi everybody. So today we're going to be talking about something pretty serious. We're going to be talking about yarn addiction. No. O-M-G. I've got a little letter prepared here for you. I've been wanting to read this to you. This Crystal, <laughs> this is how your addiction has affected my life. <laughs> oh, we're just, just kidding. We're just messing We love yarn. You. Nobody here is addicted to yarn. I swear. Nobody here is. Swear. Nobody. <laughs> no. Um, no, we're going to talk to you about uh, yarn sore. Now, I have talked to you. I have mentioned this before. Actually, um, I just found it well, a couple months ago, maybe. What was it? And I, this yarn store called mm, mm. Uh, Little Knits. Now, and um, it's really fastly has become your favorite. One of my favorite online stores. Oh, one of the favorites at Wool Warehouse and Little. Well, based and as as far as based in the United States, yeah. I mean, Little Knits is kind of ranking up there at the top. They have such high end yarn at such good deals, and um. You probably see me maybe unbox them one other time, but if you're new, you should watch and see what kind of good deals you can get from this place. Um, Who found Little Knits? You found Ooh. them, but really, I've uh, bought a lot from them, and um, uh, they're based in Washington. I think it's just a small uh, store, and a small store just filled with yarn, apparently. No, I think it's a small <laughs> Tons of um, small company. I don't think it's a like a like a company company. It might be, I don't know, but I I just buy online, and um, I mean, their website's overwhelming because they have an abundance of yarn, but it's it has become a really easy for me to navigate. And my best thing for uh, best thing I can tell you is sign up for their mailing list because every at least every other day, sometimes every day, they have a new yarn that, and it's like almost hard to pass up because there's. The, they're high end, but yet they're so reasonably priced. Reasonably priced. If I say cheap, I don't mean like it's cheap yarn. I cheap just mean quality. inexpensive. Mm -hmm. Here we say when stuff's inexpensive, we go, man, that's cheap. Not yeah, not meaning, dirt cheap. Yeah, not meaning that's bad quality. We just mean it's cheap in price. Okay, we're gonna show you a few things that I got. So what you got? Let's this see. is Lu Louis Lu Louisa Hardy. Yeah, I guess. Is so. that right? Yeah. Louisa? It, Louisa? It's not a yarn that I, uh, I, I've i heard of it, but it's not one I commonly get because okay. it's Mazo, M-A, -Z -Z that, uh, that I commonly get because um, some of these are high, uh, higher priced yarns. And Did you I, get the five? I, I'm usually a big box type of girl. So some of these yarns, they sell uh, um, single, and then sometimes they sell them in packs of five. And if you buy them in a pack of five, they're cheaper. Get a better deal, for sure. So this is... Louisa Harding, I guess, Mazo. Now, it's it's very interesting yarn. It's got a little bit of sparkle in it. It's t kind of a flat tape ribbon yarn, but not extremely... Um, uh, is, it, is this like a chain spun ribbon? Yeah, kind, kind of. of. It's got a chain spun sparkle through it, but it's really nice. Yeah, that's neat. And I think about making a top with this, actually. When I first got it, I, I wasn't quite sure what to do with it, and then I thought about it, and I think that's what's going to be best suited for it. Is I like how it's not the same color all the way through the shiny stuff. Oh, sorry about that. Oh yeah, it's got all different colors. So this stuff is uh, it's it's really nice. Like I said, I'm I think gonna make a nice lightweight summer top. It's 60 cotton, 40 polyamide, um, 100 grams or 196 yards, and it is classified as a medium weight number four. The color I have is called Juliet's Balcony. Oh, that's a pretty name. Mm. I like that. Made in Italy. Okay. Um, oh, hold on. Knock at the door. Maybe I it's like Mr. it. Mr. McFeely. <laughs> oh, from Mr. Rogers? I'm such a nerd. Excuse him. Okay, so this runs. Now, normally it says that if you buy a five pack of these, it would be $80 for a five. <laughs> yeah, like I said, they have some high end yarns on here for relatively inexpensive. Um, but they have five packs for $31.99. That is a remarkable deal, I think for you know the high-end yarns that they have or you can buy them they're normally $16 a ball or you can buy them for $7.20 a ball and I know that might seem a little high but you have to remember that like I said they are a little bit higher in, in higher in yarns so here's another one that I got an email from not too long ago <laughs> that they were putting it they got a new call they cut collars in and they were putting on sale and um, stuff you know so 
You coming in here, Mr. Bob? I am. I can't do your job. I am back. Okay. Was it Mr. Was it him, Mr. McFeely from Mr. Rogers? It was. <laughs> he says hello. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is called Queenlands. Now it. Oh, I I got have uh, bought Queenlands before. Um, Sunshine Coast Superwash Merino and Bamboo Blend. Isn't that pretty? That's a roving style. That's a beautiful color that called? they have there. The valley on the back there? The color? Mm. Barossa Valley? Barossa Valley? Yeah, Barossa Valley is the color. Okay, so it's uh, 3.52 ounces, 299 yards. It's 70 wool and 30% bamboo. Classified as a lightweight three, and I agree with that. I think it's gorgeous. You can wash, but lay flat to dry. You know, this would make uh, anything really beautiful, um, especially, I think I'll save mine for the fall um, and winter months, even though it's a lightweight three. You know, it's still got that wool in it, but it's still scarpable. Let me go. That'd make a really pretty, I think, transition into a really pretty sweater or even a scarf, you know? It's really soft. So, uh, regular for a five pack is $84.95. That's if you were to buy it, buy it at a regular store, you know, I guess. But here it's $33.98 for a five pack or $7.65 a ball. Good regular price. Regular $17 a ball. Yep. That's a good deal. What's next? Um, this one I super duper love and super I'm making duper. you a sweater out of it this fall. That's what I got. Right. Out of this color? Yeah, they only have I'm going to look like terracotta. I like this color. It's so soft. Feel that. Is that the color? Terracotta? Ooh. It's llama. Okay. Baby it's llama, llama chunky. So it's 100% baby llama. Baby and it llama. is a five weight yarn. You know, you're going to have to hand wash it. Lay it flat. Made in Bolivia. It's from Cascades Yarns. That's the brand. Um, and there are 109 yards here of a bulky five. It's so super soft. I got one five pack and then I thought to myself, I have to make my husband a sweater out of this. So I had to get another five pack so I had enough so I would have enough to make the sweater. But um how thoughtful. I know. So they run night normally nineteen dollars a hank, but they have them on here for nine dollars and fifty cents. And then there's a five pack? I bought five I packs unless they sold pack. out. Let's see, let's see. Nope. Oh, they don't have them. In, wait. Oh, wait. Yep, Cascade baby, no, the turtle. That's baby alpaca. That's not llama. Oh. I have some of that too, but. Okay, well, they don't have it in the five pack anymore, and they don't even have this color anymore because they did put this on a. It because was, Crystal bought it. I didn't buy it. I only bought two bags, but they. <laughs> they had it. Uh, they had it for uh, cheap, but then they. I sent out an email a few weeks ago and they marked it out even more. So that's probably why it sold out. But there's still the green on there. It's very pretty too. I almost got that. Couldn't really decide. But you know, I like the orange. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But can't you picture yourself in a sweater? You're going to look in a, so in a handsome. terracotta sweater. Isn't he going to look? Yeah. Matches your hat. And... Yeah. Are you excited? I, I you can want, hardly contain myself. You want a cardigan or a pullover? I want a hoodie. Got it. I'll make you a hoodie. All right. Okay. Next up. No, I don't know. I don't know. Can you make a zip up like these? Uh, like these shirts that I'm have? not good at sewing, but yeah, I can do it. Okay. Now we're gonna look at some. Um, I got it. What's this one called? This is uh, Barocco. Barocco modern cotton. I always like to try to get cottons. I always like to find a nice cotton. This is 3.5 ounces, 209 yards. It's 60% Pima cotton. And 40% uh, modal rayon. Medium weight number four made in Peru. So this doesn't feel bad. Um, and this is their medium weight number four. 25 bucks for a five pack. $25 right. for a five pack was 50. So they're half off right now. That's nice. Now it's... Uh, I think I would have liked, I like it. It's very pretty, don't get me wrong. And it's definitely garment worthy. I think I would have liked it better at 100% Pima Ooh, yeah, though. Yeah, that's pretty smooth. I like the color, it's pretty. So that's that. It's peachy. Um, machine wash and cold and lay flat. If I don't give you any of the information that you're looking for, you can always look it up on their site. The site, she has it or You can set leave up. all complaints down in the comment no, section. Please don't complain. <laughs> I'm sorry if I forget. Um, people, uh, 
or uh, you could go to her site and she has it very set up if you click on the, what you want every single thing that you need to know about the yarn is there so yeah I like that one too um, okay this one is a hundred percent Pima cotton is this is the same Barocco. brand Barocco Pima 100 so it's 100% like Pima cotton are, huh I like how you roll those R's <laughs> 219 yards 3.5 ounces of 100% Pima machine wash like flat this is uh, made in Peru five dollars and fifty cents a hank or twenty five dollars a five pack twenty four seventy twenty four seventy five for a five pack was fifty five dollars yeah that's nice that's softer a little softer okay. than that one really? so, so uh, oh sorry to interrupt you I was just gonna say the modern cotton uh, of the Barovo is a little bit shinier but it has that uh, rayon in it which is giving it that shine versus the Pima when you get Pima cotton a lot of times it's the flat cotton or so, what do you call it uh, not flat but it's not shiny it's smoother it's, it's not so shiny it's, silky it's the color is not shiny it's a uh, dull dull oh. but softer so well, i didn't know where you're going with that yeah so what's the difference like uh between regular cotton and pima cotton pima is just a higher end cotton um the fibers in pima cotton like versus like regular cotton are longer and it uh wears longer so it makes it a more durable cotton oh. it's softer um wrinkle resistant uh Stuff like that. It's so. definitely soft. That's yeah. It's a nice. It, Pima is a nice soft. cotton. I like Lion Brand has a nice Pima cotton also. Okay, let's move on. Um, I, I have a few more here left to show you. I've never heard of this or have had it. It's called Elizabeth Lavo. Elspeth. 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 Different. El Elspeth. 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 Lavold. I can't see. I can't read it backwards. Here, type that in. Elspeth Lavold. Else. But it looks really interesting, and I always like to try to get brands of yarn that I've never had before, because, you know, it could be the best thing I've ever had. This is the Misty Wool Collection. Rustic Wool and Hemp Blend. It's 100 grams, uh, 200, or 230 yards of a medium weight number four. And this is a medium weight number four. This is a chain spun yarn. Now, I do have a video on what chain spun is, if you want to look that up. But it makes a lighter weight yarn than as versus applied yarn. Um, as it has hemp in it, so it's going to be a, a little, little uh, a little, little bit rough. more rougher. But it being chain spun, and uh, it's not it's not bad. The color I have is called purple. <laughs> what do you know? Wowzers. So, um, did you tell them how much this Pima was? Yeah, we did. Okay. It's 75 wool and 25 hemp. Made in Italy. 9.45 a hank. 9.45 a hank. Do they have it in back? They have it. Yeah, in they do. It's 41.99. Was 105 marked down to 41.99 for a five. That's for a five pack. It's made for Euro yarns. That must be the yarn company. Hmm. But it's interesting. Look how it looks. It's purple, but it looks a little bit washed looking. Like it's misty. Like you used and stuff. I like that. It's still scarfable though. I mean, I would wear a scarf out of it. Maybe it should have been called foggy. Foggy. <sighs> I like that. I like getting those new yarns like that. Okay, um, now this is uh, Juniper Moon Farms, which is a nice brand of yarn. This is their Finley DK. It's 50% huh. merino and 50% silk. How do they spell Finley? Yeah. 131 yards of a DK, which is a lightweight number three. Let's check that out. Four dollars and eighty cents. Four dollars and eighty cents a ball. Probably it's four dollars and eighty cents a ball. Was twelve dollars a ball. There's their DK. That's a nice DK too. It's not like one of those really thin DKs. Twenty-one for five. Or Plus sixty. A pack of five was sixty dollars. Now they have it marked out for twenty one dollars. And Juniper Moon is is a very nice brand of yarn, so it it feels good. So you're saying get it? I, I mean, I got all like all the yarn that I've ever received from this company because it's all most a lot of it's high end yarn. You know, not all of it, but a I lot. Think I think a lot of it is. Actually. That theme is softer, but well, yeah, of course it is. It's it's going to be softer. This is wool. Um, well, that's pretty soft, silk, but though. it's really got a soft. nice shine to it. See how it kind of the the way it's got like a gloss to it. Spun there. 
kind of looks like a rope. I like that one too. Okay, and then um, um, I really like this is the Lu Lewis Harding mm -hmm. or Louisa. What Louisa, is it? Louisa Harding. Uh, or Louisa, I'm not sure. Marimo. Again, um, Marimo or Marmo? Marimo. Again, this is one they had on sale. They sent it through <laughs> their, their uh, sent me an email because I'm signed up with their mailing list and I'm like, gosh, I gotta get that. And then someone emailed me also and said, hey, you gotta get this yarn from Littleness. You're gonna love it. And I'm like, I checked it out. I'm like, yes. This one is called Terracotta? I love it. I no, it. this one isn't the no, Terracotta. It's terracotta. It's terracotta. And this one's the Trevi Fountain. Um, that's Terracotta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so I don't have that one. Yeah, I know. But this looks, that looks more terracotta than this to me, doesn't well, it? Well, everybody sees color different ways. Yeah. Anyways, so this is 50 cotton, 50 acrylic blend, medium weight number four. The color I have in my hand is called terracotta. So it's a little bit radzy, pinkishy, little terracotta-y in there. Got some you, shiny. If you look in there, little black. Little shiny strains in it, doesn't it? Or yeah. I just seen that? It's very pretty. 175 yards of a medium weight number four, 50 cotton, 50 acrylic hand wash, lay flat. Now these are um, normally $80 a five pack, but they had them for $31.99 for a five pack. That's nice. I like that. Um, it is applied yarn, even though it does appear roving. It's, it looks a little roving, but it's not. It's applied up. It's pretty. It's a nice, nice four weight. This would make something really pretty and interesting it being just so busy like that. I like it. I got a couple different colors of that, but it's nice. Okay, like and then this one is another Juniper Moon Farm. This one's called Year Yearling. Yearling. This one I don't believe was like super cheap, but it was super cheap compared to what it was. Oh, well, cheap, inexpensive, more expensive. Does it come like this? Is this? Yes, that's okay. it. So these they didn't have by the five pack. You had to buy the hank individually, and they were normally. Normally they run $22 a hank, but um, here they are $12.99 a hank. So um, it's 60% merino wool and 40% cotton. And it appears right now by looking at it to be a chain spun yarn. Um, made in Argentina. It's chain spun? Are you sure? Um, 109 yards. Hand wash, lay flat. Are you sure um, that's a chain spun? No, it's not a chain spun now that I look at it. No. Oh, the student surpasses the teacher. I just took a quick look. I, this is the first time I looked at it. When are you going to let me sit right there? And anyways, th I've done my job well. I always say that. Whenever I, my teachings of any kind, whether I teach you or you guys, once you guys surpass me, then that makes me feel good. That means I've done my job well, right? Yeah, you've accomplished what you set out to accomplish. Yes. Teaching what I love. And for you to do it better than I can do it. So that's what my accomplishment, that's what I try to accomplish. That's nice. Yeah, it is. But, you know, it reminds me of another yarn. Um, Which one? A yarn I can get from Lion Brand, but not quite as nice as, this one's nicer than Lion Brand. It is a, you know, you could tell there's cotton in it and, what is it, cotton and wool blend? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So of them, scarfable, but still a little cottony as far as, what do you think? It's not bad. It's not like real grabby. It's I still bought... pretty smooth. It has like a, a, a really light halo, doesn't it? Like you can see that little. It's really pretty. It's a it really pretty a teal. Smoother. And I actually got a purple to go with it. Because uh, I was going to do a striping project with it. I don't think it would be scratchy. No, it no. Your skin. I That's how so I, think, I think the rough cotton would be just scratchy. But it is, it, it is bulky, right? Did I say that? I'm not sure if you said that. But it looks like it is. Yeah, it's a bulky. I don't know. It doesn't say it, but I'm certain that it, that that's bulky five there. I thought or of a new nickname for you. Thick four. What's that? Bulky Bartakamus. <sighs> I'm sick of your nicknames, Yarny Five. I don't know if anybody knows who knows who Bulky Bartakamus is, but you can look it up. It's from oh. an old show. But Bulky Bartakamus, that suits you. Yarny Five. I know. Smalls. Baby Smalls. I got no mall. Strandy Griffith. Strandy Taylor. Stop. <laughs> With your utter nonsense. One more left here. Oh, Bagatha Christie. <laughs> Can't forget that one. Okay. Now, this is KFI Luxury Collection Adonis. Adonis. Ooh. Did Luxurious I say I have a body of the Greek god Adonis? <laughs> you can say the it dad, all you want. The dad bod. You can say it all you want. The okay. dad bod of it. Maybe that, yes. A luxurious blend of extra fine merino wool and mulberry silk. So, um, it's 50 wool, 50 okay. silk. 
Yes. And it is 218 yards hand wash lay flat. Lightweight number three. Made in. Don't know. Don't know, huh? But she'll probably have it on her site if you go there Let and me look. Click it and see. Oh, here it is, Italy. Okay, it's made in Italy. So this is roving style, as you can see there. And it is you know, roving style has a tendency. I have a video on roving yarns also, if you want to check that out on my uh, Yarn 101 collection, to go from thick to thin. That's the nature of the roving, but usually I always say it levels out at a certain weight, and they're classifying this one as a lightweight number three, as a level out. So I think that's a good lightweight three. Let me see. You see, you get a little bit. Actually, this one's yeah, not it's too... Getting, getting close to a four, it looks like, almost. It's actually not too bad at thick and thin. It's pretty good pretty consistent there's a couple thicker spots in it but that's nice mm -hmm. so they only had two colors of it but i mean i got it's this really one soft. first i thought this looked so rich and beautiful look at that brown's my favorite color though if you're new <laughs> i love brown so much isn't that pretty gosh and it's very nice it's very it's scarfable um definitely garment worthy and uh what's did i tell you the yardage yeah 218 mm -hmm. yards Okay, go up. So these were not; these were probably the most expensive yarns that I bought off of off of this website ever. But these are normally one hundred and twenty-five dollars for five, which I because I bought the five packs. But they had them marked down for forty-nine ninety-nine for five, so that made them ten dollars a skein. How much are they normally a skein? Um, or does she only have five packs? See. It might only have, no, I think. It I think this is definitely worth that in my 11 opinion. 25 regular $25. Okay. Yeah, I got the only two colors of this that she had. This one's called graphite, and this one is aquamarine. Beautiful. I love this. I don't know. Um, I feel like the yarn fibers are getting me in here. What I'm going to get. Okay, so that's what I got. Um, also, though, if you do go to her this website, she always offers something free if you spend, I think, like... Um, what's the matter? I saw where you typed it in the middle of the word Adonis. Um, if you spend over $25, she'll give you like something free and you can, you have to type it in though and you have to put it to your, add it, add it to your cart or you won't get it. So what I do, cause sometimes it's different things. So what I do is I always, uh, type in free with purchase of $25 and then stuff will pop up that she has free. Sometimes it's patterns and she'll have yarn. Um, she also, I've gotten this quite a few times. This is James C. Brett Starlights. Um, these are like $10 a piece, but she gives you three of them for free. She also has it in black, and then she has some other yarn um, for free. And I've had a couple different other yarns that I got from free that aren't on here now. So um, it changes throughout what you get for free. That's with the $25 purchase or more. Um, but remember, you have to add that to your cart, and it'll show up as a zero balance. Um, and if you don't add it to your cart, you won't get it. So make sure you, um, if you do buy from this website. Um, and then shipping is free with the $75 order in the U.S. Um, outside the U.S., you would probably have to contact her and see. Are you getting bored with me? I was just listening. I don't order anything, so only one time for you, for Valentine's Day. I'm just a broad. Oh, Shut Mother's Day's coming up, isn't it? Let's do it again. How do you know I haven't already? Where do I want you to buy from me? You guys are. Are right. you going to think it and then just pray no, that I get no. it? No. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, I'm not affiliated with Little Knits. I just think it's a, it's becoming one of my like favorite yarn stores to buy from online as far as getting high quality yarns for inexpensive prices. What about me? Are you affiliated with me? And I. Uh, well, yeah, I'm married to you and I'm um, highly I recommend signing up to her newsletter so you don't miss out on any deals because One time her stuff sells out fast sometimes if it's a really good deal I wanted to get this yarn and they sold out like in an, in an hour. I missed it Wow, that's because you've already told everybody about this place <laughs> I wasn't on my A game and that they're night. watching too, aren't they? Anyway, you guys, I know you guys are Anyways, so anyways, thanks uh, everybody for watching, but before you go um Last year for my birthday, Mr. Bod picked out yarn for me for, on his own, from the Wool Warehouse. Was that last year for your birthday or was that mm -hmm. this year for Valentine's Day? Oh, maybe Day? it was Valentine's Day. I can't remember. It was this year for Valentine's Day. 
I'm not sure. I think it's, it could have been either one. I'm almost certain it was in February. Anyways, where should he, what shop should he buy from this time? I'll, you know, he's going to pick out yarn all by himself that he will think that I will like. All it. by myself. And I won't look at it until I open it on camera and show you guys. I don't know what store. You guys let me know what you think. Mr. Bob would be best at picking yarn from. We'll see. Pick me an easy one. <laughs> Thanks lion, everybody lion for brand. watching. Lion brand. No, not Lion Brand. I have so much Lion Brand. That's too easy anyway. I mean, yeah, I know. I need an easy one. <laughs> okay. One with lots of stuff. Not ice though either. Mm. I like hovium. Maybe we'll do hovium. I yeah. don't know. Okay. All right. Bye guys. Hey, stay safe. You know we love you. Okay. Have Thanks for watching. Bye.